Welcome to our video titled, What to do with leftover 529 plan funds, your options explained. Today, we're exploring the ins and outs of managing surplus funds in a 529 plan. This crucial task requires careful consideration and strategic planning to ensure every dollar works for you. This presentation is brought to you by Higgins Capital, where planning for your future is our top priority. Now, without further ado, let's dive into the options you have for these remaining funds. Firstly, one viable option is to transfer the remaining funds to another eligible family member. Now, you might be wondering who exactly qualifies as an eligible family member. Well, the list is quite comprehensive. It includes the original beneficiary's siblings, step-siblings, even first cousins. But it doesn't stop there. Parents, aunts, uncles and in-laws can also benefit from the transferred funds. But how does one go about transferring these funds? The process is quite simple. You'd need to contact the plan provider and request a change of beneficiary. They'll guide you through the necessary steps, which typically include filling out a form and providing the new beneficiary's information. One of the key benefits of this option is its flexibility. Say for instance, the original beneficiary has a sibling who's heading off to college or a cousin who's about to start a vocational training program. Transferring the funds to them helps continue the journey of education within the family, with the added advantage of the funds remaining tax-free for educational expenses. Another potential benefit? The transferred funds can be used for a wide range of educational expenses, not just tuition. This includes things like books, supplies, even room and board if the new beneficiary is enrolled at least half-time. And here's an interesting tidbit. If the new beneficiary is in a lower income tax bracket than the original one, the funds, if withdrawn for non-educational purposes, may be taxed at a lower rate. However, do remember that a 10% penalty might be applicable on the earnings portion of such withdrawals. So, as you can see, transferring the leftover 529 plan funds to another family member can be a win-win situation. It's a way to continue supporting education within the family to make the most of your investment and potentially even enjoy some tax benefits. Transferring funds can be a straightforward way to utilize leftover 529 plan funds. And remember, the goal here is to optimize the use of these funds to ensure they're not just sitting idle, but working towards a brighter future for someone you care about. Another option is to utilize the funds for qualified educational expenses beyond traditional college tuition. This provides an exciting avenue for those who wish to explore non-traditional yet equally enriching educational paths. One such path is K-12 tuition. Yes, you heard right. The 529 plan isn't just for college expenses. It can also be used to cover tuition for private, public, or religious elementary and high schools, offering a great way for parents to plan for their children's education from a young age. Moving on, let's talk about apprenticeship programs. These offer hands-on experience and direct entry into a variety of fields from culinary arts to aviation. The best part? Expenses related to apprenticeship programs like fees, books, and even necessary equipment can be covered using leftover 529 plan funds. It's an excellent way to kickstart a career without the heavy burden of student loans. Speaking of student loans, did you know you can use your 529 plan funds to repay them? It's true. A recent provision allows you to put up to $10,000 of 529 plan funds towards student loan repayments. This can significantly alleviate the financial strain of student debt enabling a smoother transition into postgraduate life. These are just a few examples of how 529 plan funds can be utilized beyond traditional college tuition. The key is to remember that education is a broad term, encompassing a wide variety of learning opportunities. From K-12 tuition to apprenticeship programs, to student loan repayments, the possibilities are vast and varied. This option opens up a variety of possibilities for using 529 plan funds, it's all about understanding your needs, exploring your options, and making informed decisions to ensure your 529 plan funds are put to the best possible use. You could also choose to retain the funds in the 529 to benefit future generations or convert the plan into a retirement savings vehicle. Let's unpack these options. Retaining funds in a 529 plan can be a strategic move for those who foresee future educational expenses perhaps for a grandchild or even a great-grandchild. The beauty of a 529 plan is that it doesn't expire. The funds can continue to grow tax-free, providing a significant educational nest egg for future generations. This approach not only ensures that the funds are put to good use, 
but it also continues the tradition of prioritizing education within your family. Now if you're considering using these funds for your retirement, you're in luck. One of the lesser known options for leftover 529 plan funds is converting them into a retirement savings vehicle. This process, known as repurposing, involves rolling over the funds into an eligible retirement account, such as an IRA or a 401k. The advantage of this option is that it allows the funds to continue growing tax-free, provided they are used for qualified retirement expenses. It's a way to diversify your portfolio and ensure you're making the most of your money. However, it's important to note that this option may not be available to everyone, as it depends on the specific rules of your 529 plan and your retirement account. It's crucial to consult with a financial advisor to understand the implications and benefits. One thing to remember is that these strategies are not mutually exclusive. You could retain some funds in the 529 plan for future educational expenses and convert the rest into a retirement savings vehicle. It's all about finding the right balance and making strategic decisions that align with your financial goals. These options can provide long-term benefits and diversify your portfolio. In the end, managing leftover funds in a 529 plan requires careful consideration and strategic planning. Remember, it's not just about what to do with the funds now, but also how these decisions can impact your financial future. Lastly, if none of the previous options suit your objectives, withdrawing the remaining funds from the 529 plan is another choice. Now, this may seem like a quick and easy solution to leftover funds, but let's take a moment to discuss the nuts and bolts of this process. Withdrawing funds from your 529 plan can be as simple as making a request to your plan provider. However, you should be aware that non-qualified withdrawals, that is, withdrawals not used for eligible educational expenses, come with certain financial implications. One of the major drawbacks of non-qualified withdrawals is the income tax hit. Yes, you heard it right. The earnings portion of your withdrawal will be subject to federal and possibly state income tax. And that's not all. In addition to income tax, a 10% penalty tax on earnings will also be applied. So, if you're considering this route, it's crucial to understand the potential tax implications. But don't let the tax consequences deter you entirely. There may be scenarios where a non-qualified withdrawal could make sense. For instance, if you're facing a financial emergency, accessing your 529 plan funds could be a lifeline. Similarly, if the market has been unkind and your plan has minimal earnings or even losses, the tax and penalty impact might be less severe. The bottom line? Withdrawing funds from your 529 plan is an option, but it's not one to be taken lightly. This route requires careful consideration and strategic planning. It's important to assess your tax situation, financial goals, and potential alternatives before pulling the trigger. While this option provides immediate access to your funds, it's important to assess your tax situation and financial goals before proceeding. Remember, the goal here is to optimize the use of these funds, and sometimes the best way to achieve this might require taking the road less traveled. In this video, we've explored various options for managing leftover 529 plan funds, We've discussed transferring funds to an eligible family member, utilizing them for non-traditional educational expenses, retaining them for future generations, converting them for retirement savings, or withdrawing them, albeit with potential tax implications. It's clear that managing these funds requires careful consideration and strategic planning. Remember to always evaluate your financial situation and goals when deciding what to do with your leftover 529 plan funds Thanks for watching.